For my current build, I really wanted to get some nice, beautiful, slow pans and maybe even some time lapses moving, but I hate spending money and I didn't want to build a complicated sliding rig or anything like that. So I wanted to build the cheapest rig I could for a nice sliding shot. To do that, I've got this piece of scrap wood that's got a nice slick side finish on it. And I ran over to the hardware store and I picked up the absolute cheapest uh, cordless driver I could get with variable speed trigger. So what I wanna do is I wanna rip this apart, mount the motor on there, take the trigger, turn it into a foot pedal uh, or, or maybe just a manual adjustment, I don't know. Um, and make a sled to slide on this nice smooth board and that should give me something that works for dirt cheap. This is about 20 bucks and the wood was about 10. Um, but you could do it cheaper if you just pulled an old drill out and gutted it and used some scrap wood. Let's get started. Okay, if you disassemble the trigger, this is what you get. It's starting to fall apart, so I'm gonna have to zip tie it back together, but you can see this little guy slides back and forth and makes contact with all these little points. And that's the way I want it, not spring-loaded. I want it like this, so that I can just set the speed, give it a little nudge and get a real slow move, or move it further and get a, a faster move, etc. So I'm going to leave it like this, where I can access it, hopefully, if I haven't ruined it. And here we are. It's done. Um, I cut it in half, added an extension so that I could not have to be right there at it to get it started. I can frame my shot, get in front of the camera, and then slowly moving this modified trigger. There we go, or whatever. Um, unfortunately, this is also very loud and whiny, so I'm only gonna be able to use it in shots that I'm gonna uh, pull the audio off of. So here it is, I just duct taped it in place, strapped a sled on, use some dental floss to attach it, and it drags it along. I know it looks silly, but you can actually get some decent results. So that's the whole project, as simple as it gets. Now, if you wanted to go further with this and get better footage, there's a whole list of things that you could start doing quickly and easily to make this better. The first of which would be like a rail or a guide to keep your sled nice and straight so it doesn't slide around. You could replace your drill with something a little bit more fluid, something that doesn't make as much noise. There's just, there's tons of ways you could make it better. But in a pinch, this will get the job done. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.